مبادر الضوء لتسجيل الكتب الصوتية للمكفوفين وضعاف البصر بصوت متطوعة رغت حمام مادة اللغة الإنجليزية للثالث الثانوي الأدبي كتاب الطالب Student Book الوحدة الثالثة بعنوان Life Styles الدرس التاسع بعنوان New Ways and Old من صفحة 70 حتى صفحة 75 Grammar Having things done Causative verbs Vocabulary Musical instruments Ways of playing instruments Idioms related to music Reading Reading a brief biography Writing a short biography بداية لدينا مجموعة من الصور توضح لنا بعض الصناعات التقليدية اليدوية مثل صناعة السجاد صناعة المفروشات والآلات الموسيقية التمرين الأول، الثاني، الثالث، الرابع والخامس هم تمارين استماع ومحادثة لذا ننتقل مباشرة إلى قسم المفردات Vocabulary Musical Instrument لدينا في الصورة ثماني آلات موسيقية مختلفة هم Accordion Flute الناي Guitar Piano Oud Tabla Trumpet وهو البوق Violin الكمان Exercise number two. How do you play each kind of instrument? Complete these sentences using verbs from this list. Blow. Bow. وهو العزف باستخدام القوس. Hit. ضرب pluck النقر strum مداعبة الأوتار Now complete these sentences using verbs from the list A You have to saxophones and trumpets The answer is You have to blow saxophones and trumpets B you can or a guitar but you usually a violin the answer is you can strum or pluck a guitar but you usually bow a violin you Precaution instruments with sticks or your hands. The answer is you hit precaution instruments with sticks or your hands. Music idioms. Number three. Match the underlined music idioms in these sentences with one of the meanings 1 to 4. يجب علينا توصيل المصطلحات الموسيقية مع معانيها. A. Layla is very good at blowing her own trumpet, so she'll probably get the job. The idiom is blowing her own trumpet. The answer is Boast or say things about oneself. يتفاخر So, Layla is very good at blowing her own trumpet, so she'll probably get the job. B. If you break the law, you have to face the music. 
The idiom is to face the music. The meaning is to put up with the consequences of something one has done, except punishment. تحمل العواقب So, if you break the law, you have to face the music. C. The importance of crossing the road safely is drummed into children when they are very young. The idiom is drummed into. The meaning is teach by frequent repetition. يعلم بالتكرار. So, the importance of crossing the road safely is drummed into children when they are very young. D. Omar said he was going to buy a Porsche, but he changed his tune when he discovered the price. The idiom is changed his tune. The meaning is change one's mind. So, Omar said he was going to buy a Porsche, but he changed his tune when he discovered the price. Grammar Having things done التمرين الأول هو تمرين استماع لذا سننتقل لقراءة grammar file Having things done Causative verbs A. Form The verb have plus object plus past participle He's had his hair cut They've had their flat redecorated B. Use 1. We use have something done for us to say that we arranged for something to be done instead of doing it ourselves. بدلا من القيام بالعمل بأنفسنا نستعين بأحد ليقوم بالعمل من أجلنا. I had a guitar made for me by a very famous instrument maker. He's having his car repaired next week. 2. It is more personal and gives us more background information than just using a passive verb. يصبح الفعل شخصي أكثر من استخدام المبني للمشهول. His house was built by a local builder. Passive. He had his house built by a local builder. Causative. Number two. Compare the three sentences below. What is the difference in meaning between them? They built their own house. Their house was built by a local builder. They had their house built by a local builder. The answer is, the first sentence means, they were the builders of their own house. They built their own house. The second sentence, a builder built their house. Their house was built by a local builder. The third sentence, they asked a builder to build the house for them. They had their house built by a local builder. Number three, write follow-up sentences using causative verbs. A. I didn't repair the car myself. The answer is, I had it repaired. B. My mother dyed her own dress blue. She didn't. 
The answer is, she didn't have it dyed. C. She didn't make the dress herself. She. The answer is, she had it made. D. He isn't going to take his own photo. The answer is, he's going to have it taken. E. My brother cut his own hair. The answer is, he didn't have it cut. F. My neighbor painted his own house. The answer is, he didn't have it painted. G. My father doesn't clean his car himself. The answer is, he has it cleaned. H. We didn't cut down the trees in our garden ourselves. The answer is, we had them cut down. Number four, discuss these questions with a partner and then write sentences. Example, A, what can you have done if you go to a dentist? The answer is, you can have a tooth taken out. B. What can you have done if you go to an optician? Optician هو طبيب العيون. The answer is, you can have your eyes tested. C. What can you have done in your house by a decorator? The answer is, you can have your house painted. والآن ننتقل لقسم القراءة. Reading A biography السيرة الذاتية Number one Discuss these questions with a partner. What is a biography? How is a biography different from an autobiography? The answer is, a biography is an account of a person's life written by another person. An autobiography is an account of a person's life written by that person himself or herself. Autobiography هي السيرة الذاتية كتبها الشخص بنفسه. B. Whose biography have you read or would you like to read? C. What kinds of biographical details could be included under these headings? ما هي التفاصيل التي يجب أن تندرج تحت هذه العناوين؟ Personal details The answer is Name Date of birth Age Place of birth Physical description The answer is Height Weight, build, hair color, etc. Family and early life. The answer is family background, sisters, brothers, housing, education, interests, etc. Career. The answer is qualifications. Previous jobs, 
current job, future prospects. Personal life. The answer is friends, marriage, children, etc. Important dates. The answer is school, higher education, jobs. Beliefs. المعتقدات. The answer is what is important in life? Principles he or she lives by. Achievements. The answer is sport, examinations, music, current and future challenges, etc. D. Which details of your own biography would you emphasize and why? E. What was the happiest moment of your life and why? F. What was the most significant event of your life and why? إجابات هذه الأسئلة عائدة للطالب. Number two. Read this brief biography. Self-taught success. Tariq was born in Damascus in 1962 into a successful Syrian family. His father worked as a civil servant and his mother, who had once been a teacher, was a hard-working housewife. His brother, Hani, was very bright and after finishing university, went on to become a civil engineer. Tariq was good with his hands and so, instead of going to university, took a course in woodwork and became a carpenter. Najar. He loved Syrian folk music and, in his spare time, في أوقات فراغه, made a musical instrument. Finely crafting instruments, adawat musiqiyya, masnu'a biduqa aliyya, such as oud. One day, one of his friends saw an oud he had made and asked him to make one for him too. This was the beginning of Tariq's career as an instrument maker, and soon he was able to give up selling furniture and make instruments instead. With the money he earned, he was able to get married and start a family, buying his own villa outside Damascus. His instruments have become famous across Syria and the Arab world, and there is now a great demand for these instruments. One of Tariq's sons, Saleh, has decided to follow his father into the business, and so Tariq is teaching him how to make the oud. Question. Which information from exercise 1C above is included? The answer is, they are all included except physical description and beliefs. B. How is this biography constructed? What is the topic of each paragraph? Suggested answers. Paragraph 1. Family and early life. Paragraph 2. Early career. Paragraph 3. The beginning of his new career. Paragraph 4. His continuing success. Writing A short biography Task You are going to write a short biography of someone you know or know about. 
planning and writing. Number one. You are going to write a short biography of someone who has had an interesting or unusual life. A. Decide who you are going to write about. Here are some ideas. Someone you know well personally, for example, a member of your family or a well-known figure in your own town or city. Someone who is famous nationally or internationally, for example, a sports personality or a musician. An unknown person you respect and want to tell everybody about, for example, someone who has helped others, like a doctor or a teacher. B. Plan your biography in four paragraphs, using the biography in exercise 2 as a model. Number 2. Write your biography in 120 to 150 words. A. Include the information that you decide is important from exercise 1c on page 74. B. Follow your paragraph plan and write clearly and simply. Try to interest your readers in the subject of your biography. Use expressions from the useful language box below. The useful language was born in 1962 into a family. His or her father worked as a elder or younger brother or sister. In his or her spare time, she or he, in 1987, he or she, X years later, when he or she was, this was the beginning of his or her career as a, in the following year, he or she, check. Number three, when you have finished writing, read your biography carefully. A. Check spelling, grammar, and punctuation. B. Exchange biographies with a partner. As you read what your partner has written, ask yourselves these questions. How is the subject of the biography interesting or unusual? Does the biography include the kinds of information I want to know? What other information would I find interesting? C. Return your partner's biography and exchange thoughts and ideas. Ask more questions about the subject. The end of the unit. The end of the record.